And welcome back, Intertreer fans, another edition of the UBC Baseball Weekly Report. Head coach Liam Bowen, where we recap the week that was. Look ahead to the week that will be for UMBC baseball. Coach, welcome back in. Thanks, Dave. So the Retrievers are 12 and 12, 4 and 2 in the America East this year um, on a four game win streak sweep of Hartford this past weekend, defeating Navy last night as we're recording this. Um, so, coach, just let's get a quick recap first. Let's do that Navy game that was uh, yesterday, Tuesday, um, 11 to 5 win here at Alumni Field. Yeah, I thought, uh, obviously, uh, you know, ended up being a comfortable win. That's always good. I, I tell everybody, you know, we play a tough schedule. Um, and in Division One baseball, I think you have to celebrate every win, you know, to an extent. Like, every win's a good one. And uh, there's no such thing as an ugly win. Don't think we necessarily played our best uh, in really any phase of the game. But part of a 50-plus game season at this level is you can't, only win when you play your best. You know, you have to to negotiate and make your way through those games where maybe things aren't clicking, um, you know, the way you're you're capable of. So I was in the in the end, I was pleased. I, I felt like it was a job done. You know, we're continuing to swing the bats pretty well uh, for for stretches. I thought we pitched pretty well. I thought Joe Puchek ended up kind of settling into a rhythm and, and the last couple of innings was about as sharp as we've seen him this year, which is encouraging. You know, we want him and those other guys trending in the right direction. Adam Schwartz worked a pretty, a pretty good inning for us as well. Shane Gorman gave us some length, and um, and Salata looked uh, looked pretty strong at the end. So th th there are some things that we can move forward with. Like I said, don't think it was our best work, but uh, a W is a W. So uh, we're, we're happy to take it and move on uh, to see Maine this weekend. And then last weekend, 3-0 sweep Hartford. You outscored them 41 to 17, wins of 17 to 5, 16 to 9, and then a gritty 8 to 3 win on Sunday on the getaway day. Just talk about that series, putting up a lot of runs against Hartford. Yes, coming into the year, we were really excited about our offense. You know, we felt like there's a lot of veteran guys there that have some track record. There's still some upside with some of these guys. They've done a great job working with Coach Disher over the past six months to put themselves in a good position to score runs. At times early in the season, we were kind of finding our feet. You know, there were some games where, where we weren't swinging it quite as well as I think we were capable of. And this weekend was a little bit of a breakout for some guys, and that was nice to see. It's a, it's a fairly offensive environment up there. You know, the, the wind was blowing out a little bit, and it's a, it's a fast track uh, with their turf. But at the same time, I thought really they threw three good starting pitchers at us, three guys who have had success in our league, have had success up at Hartford, you know, return, um, you know, and are, and are later in their careers. And I thought we handled particularly the first two guys pretty well. Obviously, we ended up scoring a lot of runs. And then they, from a relief standpoint, they kind of stacked, I think, a couple of their better relievers on Sunday. To, and, and that was the game that was the, the most competitive because of that. I thought they threw the ball pretty well on Sunday, but we, we were able to kind of pull away at the end with some, some gritty at-bats. So, look, a, a, a sweep on the road, uh, you'll always take it uh, in the America East. And, and I thought from an offensive standpoint, it was definitely a step forward for us. And I think for us to, to do some damage the rest of the year, I think being an explosive offense has to be a part of that. We're, we're still pretty young on the mound. We're missing some guys uh, on the mound that, you know, we were hoping would be available uh, this season. And, you know, as, as it, you know, tends to happen on the mound, like you, you, you don't, always have a, a full complement of guys. It's kind of the nature of our sport, unfortunately, at times. So uh, being able to, to create big innings and to uh, be an offense that can put up three, four, five runs at any given time, I think that's got to be part of our recipe for success. So seeing that this weekend, that was really positive. And then we kind of mentioned it before we got on, trending in the right direction from where you were at the start of the year, starting to see things starting to turn around. Like you said, the bats come in alive, pitching starting to settle in a little more. It's got to be good to see that at this point of the season now as the month, um, as the calendar turns to April. Definitely, definitely. I, early in the season, I mean, the, the, our, our opening weekend against Navy was a, a great example of this. You know, I, obviously on our minds since we just played them, you know, we lose two uh, game, games in the last at bat in two very back and forth baseball games. And since then, I, I think I've said on, on some of these weekly reports, hey, I think we're headed in a good direction. We're just making steady progress. It doesn't happen overnight, so on and so forth. I think 
this recent Navy game last night, that's a good yardstick, right? You know, it's just the same opponent. We get to play them at home, you know, which is an advantage, uh, but it's the same opponent. And it was a, a fairly comfortable win in the end. So I think our direction is really positive. And the guys have done a great job. They're, they've been a really fun group to coach. I thought really this weekend, you know, the games got out of touch a, a couple of times, particularly on Friday and Saturday. I thought they played really hard, you know, played to our standard and our style um, for all, uh, all uh, uh, 27 outs. And that's allowed us to continue to grow as the season's gone on. I mean, if you're, if you open up in the, you know, the, the middle of February and that's where your development is, as the team stops, it's going to be a really hard season. You know, I think the the thing that separates the the good teams from the average ones in the America East is their in season development, how they can can continue to grow, how they can take the adversity that comes in any season and turn it into something positive. And this group has been showing some value there. And there's still some there's still plenty of upside with them. Like I said last night, it wasn't like um, you know we were outstanding in every phase of the game. We have some things that we need to get much much better. But I like the effort of the group. I like the culture that they're building and, and the, the way that they're approaching our work every day. And I'm excited to keep coaching them the rest of the year. That's for certain. And then you talk about that progression that you've had this season. One guy, Drew Roberts, last year came in as a freshman, played pretty much every single game in short. This year, he's got that same type of role, but you're seeing him kind of develop from the plate a little bit more. Just talk about what you've seen out of him this past year, year and a half with him in the program he's a he's a tremendous story in terms of development he's a, a super like a super bright young man very hard working young man plays with a ton of energy I think when he came to us and in the recruiting process he was a guy with clear strengths and weaknesses he was an advanced defender that needed to get stronger and needed to refine his swing and I've told him since he got here that he's not the prettiest swinger but he's a really good hitter and I think sometimes in baseball, we get that confused. I think that was maybe held against him a little bit as a high school player, that he's a little unorthodox in some of the, the ways that he moves, particularly offensively. But he can really hit because he's great with two strikes. He's got a great ability to center the bat on the ball. He's really competitive and he's really tough. So the fact that he's become more and more successful offensively, particularly as he's gotten stronger, you know, it's much stronger athlete than he was a year ago he's done some great work with coach Cockrell our strength coach over the past 18 months it's it's no surprise to me you know I um, I was actually telling somebody the other day um, I've heard a couple of people compare high school shortstops guys that you know we would maybe potentially be interested in recruiting to Roberts and I, I don't think the comparison is is a is the proper one because you know, just because a guy can really defend and needs to get stronger and has a little bit of a funky swing, that doesn't make him Drew Roberts. Drew Roberts is a really special player. You know, like he's got, um, he's a unique player, but he's got some really special qualities that have made him really effective for us really since the day that he got here. So um, I think he's doing a terrific job. I'm really proud of his progress. And I think he's going to be a, a, a mainstay of our team for years to come. And then now let's start looking ahead. Got Maine coming in this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They're seven and 13. They're also four and two in the league in that other division. Uh, you only get to see them once this year, but what do they bring? Always a competitive quality team that's disciplined. For sure. Coach Durba does a great job up there. Uh, you know, the, the last time we played for the conference championship, we were playing against Maine, coached by Coach Durba. So we have a long history with them. It's always a good series. I think the four and two in conference is more indicative of their quality than the seven and 13 overall. They played a really tough schedule. Obviously, geographically, they're forced to travel early in the year and play some opponents from some big conferences. I think they're pretty talented. I think they return are a good lineup, a very dangerous lineup, probably one of the more um, power-oriented lineups in our conference. And they have some good starting pitching. Uh, you know, they have some guys that have thrown well for them, um, a couple of transfers and a freshman. So I expect it to be a really good series and and, and for it to be – a good indicator of maybe where we stack up right now in the America East. And like I said, we're developing week to week. So where we stack up now, it could be different in two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, but we want to know how we're, how we're playing right now. And I think Maine's a great opportunity uh, to test ourselves because I think they'll, they'll come in here, pitch well at the front of games and, and always have a real threat, uh, you know, no matter where we're at in their order. So yeah, I'm expecting a, a good evenly matched series 
uh, like we always get with those guys. Coach, thank you again for your time, as always. And go dogs. All right. Go dogs. Retrievers back at it at Alumni Field this weekend against Maine Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those games will be on Americans TV if you can't make it out. And as always, keep up to date with UMBC Baseball at UMBCRetrievers.com and the team's Twitter page at UMBC Baseball.